A simple letter written nearly a century ago gave birth to one of Masonry's premier research lodges and started a journey that continues today. Grand Master John Picard wrote the open letter to a group of brothers. I am profoundly interested, he said, in the early history of Masonry in Missouri and believe that much of interest can be discovered in this field. It has occurred to me that it would be wise to form an organization for the study of Masonry in Missouri. With that, the Missouri Masonic Research Council came to life on April 24, 1927, with most worshipful brother Picard as president. At subsequent meetings, brothers gave lectures and presented papers covering several aspects of Freemasonry. The Research Council's first meeting in 1938 began on a somber note following the death of founder, president, and past grandmaster John Picard. Right Worshipful Brother Henry C. Childs, acting president, informed those present there was a growing sentiment to carry on the great work of Brother Picard, but under the auspices of the Grand Lodge of Missouri. It has been proposed, he said, to organize ourselves into a lodge of research chartered by the Grand Lodge. A committee, headed by Ray V. Denslow, drafted a resolution authorizing the Grand Lodge to charter research lodges. That document and a charter for a lodge of research were presented at the Grand Lodge communication the following September. Surprisingly, the Grand Lodge voted it down. Members, feeling many brothers did not fully understand the purpose of a research lodge, regrouped and spent the next two years traveling the state to, in their words, duly educate the craft as to the purpose and possibilities of a lodge of research. The 1940 Grand Lodge meeting brought general support for the lodge of research. It also saw the election of United States Senator Harry S. Truman as Grand Master. Most worshipful Brother Truman was an ardent supporter of the concept of a lodge of research and personally lobbied for it. With that, the resolution passed easily. The Missouri Lodge of Research was born with Brother Truman himself signing the charter on September 30, 1941. Over the years, the Missouri Lodge of Research has earned the distinction, along with the Masonic Home, Masonic Children's Foundation, and Masonic Scholarship Fund, as being designated one of the four crown jewels of Missouri Masonry. The Lodge has expanded its programs to attract members beyond the borders of the state. Each year, it sponsors two Truman Lectures, bringing world-class Masonic education not just to its members, but to all brothers wishing to attend. One of these lectures is given as part of the annual communication and has proven to be one of its most popular events, attracting a full house at breakfast on the final day. Every quarter, members receive a newsletter that keeps them abreast of the Lodge's latest activities. It also includes quality articles on a variety of Masonic topics ranging from the esoteric to historical to general commentary on the state of the craft. The publishing of the Research Council's first book, From Mouth to Ear, by Henry C. Childs in 1936, has evolved into a program of providing a book to each member annually at no cost to the member. Over 75 of these books have been written or edited by Lodge of Research members. At the inception of the Missouri Lodge of Research, its founding fathers, led by brothers Harry Truman and Ray Denslow, envisioned a Masonic library as one of their long-term goals and started a small library at the Masonic Temple in St. Louis. Until 2012, collections of books were kept there and, under the direction of Brother Truman, at his hometown library and at the Truman Presidential Library itself. 
When the new Masonic complex in Columbia was conceived, part was reserved for a Masonic library. In 2012, the Grand Lodge began relocation of the collection. Later that year, brothers gathered in the expansive room designated for that purpose for the dedication of the new facility. There, brother Clifton Truman Daniel, most worshipful brother Truman's grandson, spoke to the crowd about this fulfillment of his grandfather's dream. Today, the library, under the direction of the Masonic home, houses over 15,000 books, as well as many priceless Masonic artifacts. The Lodge of Research has established the Denslow and Picard Societies, named after two of the Lodge of Research's founding fathers, to continue to fund and support the library. The Missouri Lodge of Research boasts 15 respected authors as members and fellows. Among them are both Ray and William Denslow, Alan E. Roberts, Dr. J.C. Montgomery, Jr., and the incomparable Alphonse Serza. It maintains a close relationship with the Denslow family and in 2016 to 2018 worked with them to publish The Masonic Journey of Ray V. Denslow, a two-volume set which was distributed to members free of charge. The Missouri Lodge of Research, one of Missouri Masonry's crown jewels, continues to be a leader in Masonic education with a reputation extending well beyond the borders of the state. Every Freemason in good standing, as well as any Masonic Lodge, has the opportunity to become a part of it and help Masonic education thrive beyond the 21st century.